I'm doing a session for a client. I'm gonna read the goals here and get started. All right, these are short and sweet. What can you tell me about me and my 22 year old daughter, Michaela? Okay. All right, I'm gonna relax now and get tuned in. So, it's a bit hard to describe right now. I almost feel very composed and I'm looking at, it's almost like uh, two different kinds of liquids. They somehow, they blend together, but you can tell they don't mix. There's like, um, one is a bit oily and one is more like water. And they're both pink in color. So when they get kind of swirled around, them not mixing actually creates a really pretty piece of artwork. And I'm looking down kind of a, like a, it's a circular tunnel. And I just see this mixture of two different types of liquids. And they're both pink, but they're two different colors of pink. And they don't mix together the two different colors, so the two different types of liquid, but they look beautiful together. They look absolutely beautiful. There's this feeling of stillness. I feel composed. Almost like you ever feel so composed that you don't want to say anything because you don't even want to hear the sound of your own voice. You don't want to taint whatever the composure of the moment is. So you just be still and you, you receive it, you experience it, you observe it, you feel it, but you don't want to create a ripple in that experience by interrupting it somehow with your own voice. So there's just a stillness, this perfect composure that doesn't want to create a, a ripple in what is a perfect moment in order to help the perfect moment prolong for a longer period of time, okay? Without disrupting it. I feel like that. So I'm going to separate the two liquids and the two different colors of pink. They're both a, a magenta but one's a little bit darker shade than the other. They don't want to be separated. And they show me uh, what is a pet guinea pig. And it's a, a feeling of comfort. If you can catch the guinea pig and hold the guinea pig um, close to your heart, there's this beautiful feeling of adorableness and comfort that comes from that experience. And the feeling of ha it being time to have to set the guinea pig back in its pen, it's like, uh, I just want to hold you a little while longer. I just want to hold you a little while longer. to stay in this place of a soft connection that is really adorable and sweet, comforting, secure, warm. And why would that energy ever need to be separated? And it's almost like, why would that energy ever have to stand side by side? Because then here we have one energy and here we have another energy. But when these energies mix, there's something of a... Um, a giving and receiving from both sides and it's it's beautiful and when the energies really mix together which they never really one doesn't absorb the other so they never really become one or the other they're always two separate styles but when they 
mix in their way, it is a really beautiful expression of love and connection. It's actually a gift to everybody. So this is about you and your daughter. And there's a lot of beautiful energies, a lot of beautiful perceptions and feelings that I experience when I go into the energy of you both in your connection with each other and what that looks like on the energy side of things. There's something else here. So let me see what this is. It comes back to creating what is um there the two sides are mixed okay are are swirling together and to take the two sides and just create two separate identities so they can each be their unique expression their unique identity so one's not mixed in with the other they're both their own identity so it would be like here's you and here's your daughter I'm going back to this. Okay. So I'm manifesting this experience. Let's see how it feels. It feels okay. I will say it feels more like... Um, the first day of summer when the pool opens up and it's been a while since you've gotten to go down the water slide and it's so much fun. So when the two colors, the two liquids are mixing together, it's like a really great time. But then when they become their own separate identities, it's kind of still. Everything's fine about it. Everything's great about it. But there's something magnetic, um, exciting, a little bit more full throttle when they're mixing together. So let's, let's just be good with that. I'm just going to set all this that we've seen thus far, just set it aside. And I'm going to go into the heart of you both. And I'm going to go deeper than this. <sighs> Something feels a lot more plain, a lot more simple. It tastes like oatmeal without anything any in it. No flavor. And the oatmeal is being eaten out of a bowl that's made out of wood and a wooden spoon and I see the sun is coming into a very simple home and I'm a little girl and I'm sitting at, at a chair at the table and I'm eating this oatmeal and I'm kind of in a daydream, in a haze in my mind, just because I'm a kid and I'm just daydreaming. I'm not aware of time or place. I'm just eating and letting my mind feelings wander. What's interesting is when this happens to the little girl, her soul actually is projecting into the rays of light from the sun. And she's going to visit her family in the sun. And when she visits her family in the sun, it fills her with uh, warmth. <laughs> fills her with... I mean, how much happier could it feel? I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm squealing with pure joy and delight. And, and just, this is the best parts of life type of feeling. And now I hear... Somebody is coming into the home. It's a man. 
and I'm eating my oatmeal again. I have responsibility, so I stand up, and I, I mean, I'm very young here. It's like six or seven years old, but I feel like I have responsibility, and I need to hurry up to eat my oatmeal, and then I need to start working. I will say this simple life is actually very peaceful. It has responsibility, duty, expectation. There's follow through on the expectation. There's a pattern to it. And there's love to it. It's also very spiritual. What's interesting is which one is this little girl? Is this you? Is this your daughter? When they show me the spirit of the little girl goes into her to visit her family in the sunlight, I feel that this is where your home is. Like the home of yourself and your daughter. And it's almost... Even though one could be water and the other could be oil, they're so in bliss when this connection is taking place. When this little girl's spirit goes into the sun, it's the same bliss. It's the same joy. And whether it's you that goes back to the little girl or your daughter that is playing the role of the little girl, you bring what is the energy of your home with you both. Everywhere you go, which is full of sunlight. It's very healing energy. It's, it's breathtaking. It's again, it, it puts me in this composure where I don't even want to say anything. I don't want my voice to create a ripple that might alter the meaning of something very precious here. I'd rather just let what is so precious continue to be precious for as long as it can be <laughs> to hold the guinea pig for as long as I can <laughs> it's an adorable precious tender moment of love held against your own heart it's timeless Now I see what is the color of the sun. It's yellowish, orangish. It's all turning pink. Really, 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 really hot pink. And I'm standing in a hot pink sun. And it's fantastic. It's awesome. It's just so great. <laughs> I feel marvelous. I feel refreshed. I feel like a brand new person. <laughs> You could almost say that it feels like going to a salon and getting pampered. And you never want the pampering to end, but eventually there's an end to it, so you have to leave, but you carry the joy of that pampered experience with you. Like, you're so glad you did it. You feel so great. Um, it was wonderful. Like, the, this is the voice of your relationship, okay? <laughs> so when I'm saying all of these perspectives, all of these perspectives are an expression of your relationship. And it's wonderful. It's really great. Hmm. You really are... I really like when your energies are mixing together. It's the most exciting feeling. It's the most splendid. It's most artistic and creative. It's, it's the most awing. But when you are both doing your own selves, it feels a, a little bit distant. It feels a little bit um, not as electrifying. It's fine, but it's not as electrifying. It's like the little girl eating oatmeal. It's fine. And everything about this life, as simple as it is, is quite wonderful. Um, but then to be taken off into the light of the sun, it's it, there's a meaning behind it. There's a connection to it. It's so pleasant. It's so wonderful. It's really amplifying the sound of family and love. It's beautiful. 
All right, so that's what I had to share. Hmm. Thank you so much for this experience. It was really wonderful. I'm still in the energy. <laughs> so I'm just letting it all go and I'm coming coming back to myself here. Hmm. Thank you so much for this experience. I really enjoyed that. I feel really bright. <laughs> I feel really wonderful right now. I don't even know if I could articulate how truly wonderful of an experience that was. And this whole time, I just don't even want to say anything because I don't want to alter how wonderful the feeling was. I don't want to throw in my two cents. I don't even want to talk about it. I just want to be in that beautiful energy. It's that great. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. I love experiencing the energy of you and your daughter to together. It's so fantastic. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Thank you also for sharing this openly with others. Um, for those watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I'm also on Patreon at abbynormalswisdomquest. And I have two other YouTube channels, so you can check me out at my Abby Normal YouTube channel or my Zodiac Energy Readings YouTube channel. All right, thank you all again, and have a great day.